Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Yes, I am holding a can of pumpkin pie mix. Guys, it already smells delicious, almost like a pumpkin pie. But I'm gonna turn this into pumpkin pie twist. All the flavors that we love in pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna to top it off with something that we like to eat pumpkin pie with. Now my series, It's Fall Y'all, started last week with apple pie cake. I will link that one down below if you want to check it out. It was so easy, but guys, it tasted so delicious, and it had some delicious fall flavors in it. Okay, grab your can of some pumpkin pie mix, and let's make some twist. Okay, here it is, crescent rolls. This is the twist. <laughs> this is an original can of crescent rolls, so you don't need anything fancy dancy, okay? Just one can of these, or as my husband says, two cans, because <laughs> one's not going to be enough for this house. Okay, guys, so get your can of crescent rolls, and I'm going to start taking them out of the package and laying these down on a cutting board, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so the tip here is to make sure that you leave your crescent rolls in your refrigerator as long as possible because when you pull them out and start laying them on the cutting board they start getting soft and we want to use them fast okay so you're just going to spread these out in one sheet and just roll it out now what's nice about this is you don't have to sit there and pinch all of the serrated edges here okay are the perforated edges. Just lay them out and all we're going to do is just kind of split it in half here down the center and move it down here. Okay guys, pumpkin pie mix right here has everything you love in a pumpkin pie. It's got the pumpkin, it's got the spices, it's got some sweetener, it's got some water and some salt in here. That's it and some probably some natural flavorings in there too. So what I'm going to do is just put about a tablespoon or two and then we're going to smear it all over the dough here don't go too crazy with it because then you'll have a pumpkin you know kind of a mess there but I find that two tablespoons works plenty and just kind of evenly spread it out just like that Okay, so we're going to take our other half of the sheet here. We're going to lay it on top of the pumpkin pie mixture and just kind of evenly place it over the other crescent roll dough there. That's all you have to do, okay? We're going to take a pizza cutter or you can take a large knife if you want to use that and we're going to slice these into strips. Now, I like to start in the center. Cut it in half and then cut that half into halves and then we're going to cut these strips in half lengthwise okay now i find that cutting these on a cutting board is a lot easier than cutting it on a sheet pan with some you know parchment paper on there because you wind up cutting that parchment paper. So cut them on your cutting board or a work surface and then transfer them to your baking dish. All right, which we are going to do right now. Okay, so just lay these on your parchment paper and just give them a little bit of room to grow, not much, but you do want to put some space between them. Now, as you can see, these made eight twists. There we go, and we got our last one here. All right, let me show you how I'm gonna twist these. Okay, so what you wanna do is just pick up half of the, your dough here, and you wanna twist it two times on the back side here, and then come to the front and twist it two sides here. That way you get a little control on these twists. <laughs> so just pick it up from the back side, 
twist one, two, and lay it down. And then do the same on this side. Like that. Okay, I'm just gonna take my melted butter here and we're gonna slather it all over these twists. This is gonna help hold the sugar and cinnamon that we're gonna put on and give it another little layer of flavor for sure. That butter, mmm. Okay, in a small bowl here, I have about one tablespoon of white granulated sugar, and then I just sprinkled some cinnamon in here. Now that's just based on the flavor that you like. So if you like a lot of cinnamon, pour it in. If you don't, lighten it up. What I'm gonna do is just take some and then just start sprinkling them on these twists here. And again, these are your twists. So whatever you put on them, well, they're our twist, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if my husband's going to share these. Nope. <laughs> so you have to make your own. Eight is not enough. <laughs> Believe me, y'all, two pans of these are going in the oven. All right, I'm gonna place these in my preheated oven at 375 degrees for eight to 11 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. I'll be back and I'm gonna show you how we're going to finish these off. Okay guys. <laughs> My pumpkin pie every year comes with Ready Whip. <laughs> cool Whip, you do whipped topping. Oh yeah. There we go. That's my size, there. <laughs> pumpkin pie twist with some whipped topping. Let me try these for you. Okay, here's my plate. This is the way I like pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, with some ready whip on top. Let's go in. Mm. You guys, this is so light, so fluffy. The crescent rolls, mm. oh my gosh, it's better than a pie crust. It's so light, flaky, and delicious. We got that pumpkin pie mix inside wrapped up in here and that delicious cinnamon, cinnamon mixture on top with the butter. Oh my gosh, how many are you making? <laughs> okay, I know Thomas says I always have an evil laugh at the end. Because <laughs> you get to eat it first. I get to eat it first. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you're thinking of my series. It's Fall Y'all, and let me know. Give me some ideas, okay? Mm, I've got lots of ideas, but I want to hear from you. I love your comments. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you'll always know when all of my shows like this one here are posted. Guys, I will see you on my next episode. Mm-hmm.